guys, we are here in the western part of Germany, close to Salzkotten. And uh, today we will sew a small plot trial. Um, as you can see here in the background, we have the small plot sewing machine. And uh, also we have perfect sewing conditions. So the sun is shining, um, we have warm temperatures. So the soil is dry on the surface, but if we take a look a little bit deeper in the soil where we will place our rapeseed, you can see that the soil is perfectly moist and we have perfect conditions for the rapeseed to grow into this seed bed. What do we need to do first after the sowing? We need to put a yellow trap on the field. So how do we use this yellow trap? You put in some water and we also put in some dish liquid so the insects and in autumn especially the cabbage stem flea beetle will stay in the water and not go out of the yellow trap again. And you have to notice that the cabbage stem flea beetle will not yeah, be attracted from this yellow color. So you just get them on purpose in this yellow trap. So please take a look at the plants as well and see if there are some eaten leaves. If you can't find any damage on your leaves where you could take a look at and try to figure out which pest it was. Uh, for example, the cabbage stem flea beetle or which pest also eats up your rapeseed are slugs. And slugs you won't get with this yellow trap. For slugs you need some sort of shelter where they can protect themselves from the sun and from dry conditions. So a perfectly way to see slugs is this kind of slug pet. It's full of water so it has moisture where slugs like to be because they need to be protected from the drought. And if you put this here on the fields also close to your yellow trap and close to the edge of your fields the slugs will just go underneath this pet and you can have an yeah, easy way to control the slugs in your field and decide if you need a treatment or if you have no slug pressure. Where do we have to place these yellow traps? They are perfectly placed close to the edge of your field. And if you have close to your field or in the neighborhood of your field, grassland, hedges or forest or trees, you should use the side of the field where you have one of these or all of these neighborhoods. In hedges or in the grassland, our pests are oversummering because here in the field, they hardly can find something to eat. And as soon as our rapeseed emerges, the pests come over to, from the neighborhood and we want to catch them as soon as they get on our field. That's the situation here in Western Germany. What's the situation in the northern part of Germany, René? Please tell us something about it. 